Ah, welcome to sunny Spain. Juan, Pablo. morning guys from sunny Spain so uh, didn't do much yesterday when we got here didn't do much vlogging so I just thought I'd come on this morning show you whereabouts we're staying there's Gemma behind me hi Gemma I, just, <laughs> I know I've not done anything yet we're just out on a walk around the fields just by the villa we're staying at so I'll quickly show you um, where we're staying what views you've got and stuff like that then a bit later on we're going down to Seaside which is about 25 minutes from here, La Marina. So I'll show you some of that as well. So yeah, at the minute we're just walking around local farmer's field just for a little walk. The views of the mountains and stuff. You got Jen? Oh yeah. I don't know if we're going to be able to get back up this way. So you've got the mountains over there in the distance. And just over the other one you've got to walk up here Jen, back to the road. All right, we'll go back this way. It's, uh, it's a bit bumpy over the field. Gemma's scared because of a Spanish farmer's going to come out with a gun, apparently. Um, so yeah, uh, we, we got here yesterday. It was a bit of a nightmare because um, <clears throat> we flew from Bristol Airport, uh, May 22. So what date was it? We flew Gemma 29th. 29th of May. <clears throat> they had no staff at the airport, so. The bar was open, of course, because everyone wants to get drunk. Um, most of the coffee shops were closed. There was no airside staff, uh, people to drive the tugs, people to load the luggage on the plane. There was none of those staff. So basically we had a hour delay in the airport um, and then they got us on the plane where we sat for another hour and 45 minutes on the plane because we couldn't get a pushback from a tug driver. So we had to wait in line and then you have to wait for your slot to take off. So it was a bit of a nightmare to be honest and they shouldn't really be opening the airport if they haven't got the staff. So yeah, I know it's a nightmare everywhere across the world at the minute, but I'm sure there's loads of jobs at airports if anyone wants one. Uh, so yeah, it wasn't the best experience, but we got here safely and we did the flight in around an hour and 40 minutes, didn't we Gemma? Yeah. So we got us here. Yeah, Ryanair were good. They were apologetic. They were very apologetic. Um, they didn't, it wasn't their fault, it was all the airport stuff to be fair. You had people moaning on the plane that it was Ryanair's fault, but it wasn't Ryanair's fault. They were just as, uh, just as pissed off as everyone else, I think. But Anyway, I'll turn you around now and show you where we're staying and stuff. Uh, yeah, here goes. Right, so this is where we're staying, everyone. It's inside here. We'll walk past it um, first just to show you the, uh, the mountain views we've got and stuff like that. And then we'll go in, have a look around. So yeah, as I say, we're about 25 minutes from Alicante Airport, 25, 30 minutes from the beach, like La Marina. Yeah, Torrevieja is a little bit further, but not too far away. Yeah, 35, 40 minutes. That's where we're staying, just Benidorm, inside there. 40 yeah, Benidorm's 40, 45 minutes away, so if you want to go and party in Benidorm, you can. It's just in a lovely, quiet area where you've got no tourists really. Well, you have, you do have tourists, lots of English people here, but um, it's quiet, there's hardly any traffic. Um, there's Matt's house with his girlfriend. We'll go try and see them in a minute. Dog's barking. Hola. Yeah. 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 Wait. There's Matt's dogs jumping up. <laughs> yes, yeah, so anyway, so here's the, uh, the mountain view we've got in the villa, and then obviously got all the mountains down there. <clears throat> We'll just have a walk, only not too much further, but show you the uh, 
mountains, go up to this bridge and then back. Yeah, so it's a lovely area. Really quiet, isn't it, Gemma? Yeah. You've got no like traffic everywhere, no no stag or hen parties, but if you want all that, it's very close by, so which is good. There's a little town or a village right next to us called Cotrell, where you've got tons of restaurants and bars, um, loads of eateries, you can get burgers and curries. We went and had a lovely Chinese last night, which was really good. Um, yeah, loads of places to eat and drink, which is all you need. And they're all in walking distance as well. But yeah, these are the sort of views you get. And at night time, which I'll do a vlog later, I'll add a bit on just to show you the sunset and that. The sun rises. And then we go down behind this mountain at night time. It's really nice. <clears throat> but yeah. Mel was telling us, Mel is Gemma's dad, by the way. He's the guy that owns the villa we're staying at. Had massive floods here a couple of years ago and all this bridge was demolished for it, so it's all just been repaired. Down here. Probably sewers, I think. <clears throat> but yeah, this is the sort of views you get, so it's a really nice area. See it all. We'll head back to the villa and show you what it's like there. See you in a minute. No. Yeah, nice dogs. It reminds me of um, Sprott from um, Fraggle Rock. Oh yeah, Matt's dogs. Yeah. <laughs> is it Sprott? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Right, this is uh, Mel's Villa, it's where we're staying. <clears throat> Into the Ponderosa, he's called it. We prefer the Playboy Mansion. But this is all the grounds. Lovely established trees, palm trees and orange trees. So yeah. Jim, we're gonna get the back in the spot off the thing. <coughs> oh, sorry. Fly went in my uh, mouth then. Yeah, so this is the grounds. Massive area. What I'll do, I'll just show you a quick round quickly and then we'll do the inside later because we're just going around the neighbours for coffee. So yeah, it's got established like, orange trees and stuff. It's already, it's going to be 36 degrees today. We're at the end of May. So yeah, it's bloody warm out here at the minute. This is the pool area we go up to. A lovely pool. Just hear Matt's dogs barking all the time. Yeah, he's only just sort of um, opened it, if you know what I mean. So it all needs a bit of a mop down and stuff like that. Yeah, so I'll do, guys. I'll show you around the inside a bit later. Got this carport out here. Cars around there. And the edge just in there. Back entrance, big water tank. Sky dish for all the porn. Yeah. Lovely little area. Catch you in a bit, guys. Here we are in Ola Marina. So this beach is around about 25 minutes from the villa. Just there in this nice restaurant. And Gemma's going in to see. Hey, it's warm, isn't it, Gemma? So yeah, it's a um, massive beach area. That down there is La Guadamar, I think. A bit more of a built-up area. So yeah, it's nice down here. Like I say, 25 minutes from the villa we're staying at. Just had some nice munch. Pork and chips. <laughs> we're going for a big American burger later. We're going to have a small meal. Yeah, so it's lovely. Come back on in a minute. It's not waterproof, that. Yeah. 
So now we do a bomb, even though I'm not supposed to with a new tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> You're coming with me guys. Okay. Try and do it. I can't do it, Gem. What about I put this down here? Right there. Nah. Let me just check that's right. Let me just check, I can see your... Okay, right there, I think that's gonna be other. Right about there. I better get out and drive this tattoo. <laughs> I <laughs> Morning guys. So me and Gemma. There she is, look. Hi. We've come down to um, a little place called Cottrell village like 10 minute drive from where we're staying <laughs> it's our last day today enjoying the sunshine having a wander about together and then we come back tomorrow to rainy uk so i'll show you around it's our first time down in the square as well so let's have a little look so it looks like we've got a nice church here oh. uh, Oh, smells a bit pooey. Smells like someone's emptied their guts down here. I think it's just the sewers. This is nice, Gemma, isn't it? Gemma, have we been down here before? Uh, I don't know, I don't think so. Oh, you've got like a European Union building there or something. <laughs> Let's have a little walk around here. Yeah, so glorious weather, as you can see. It's been like 32 degrees every day. Our first day was 38 degrees. 38 degrees. It was baking and I've been burnt all over my belly and my chest. I just forgot to put some cream on. So yeah, um, yeah we don't really know what's what's surrounding because we've never been down here so we'll just have a wander. Maybe I'll come on, come off, come on, come off. But yeah, we'll have a look. Well, that's just like a main street or something, isn't it, Jen? Looks like a... What's down here? It's warm, isn't it, Jen? <clears throat> so later on, guys, we're going to the... Um, we're going to eat at a castle, so I'll um, do a bit of vlogging there as well, so you can see that place. It's in a place called San Miguel. Um, and that's about... 30 minute drive from us, so. Nice little area down here. Um, nice little area. If you're visiting, well, you know, if you're visiting family at Livia or whatever, you can come down here. Loads of places to eat and drink. Nice little apartments. Maybe they've all got pools local first station. Now down there it's just bars and that, isn't it, Jen? Yeah. Maybe we'll go to a bar and have a, you can have a Malibu. No, not yet. It's not even 12 o'clock yet. And I can have a zero beer. Only six weeks left till the alcohol ban is up. Oh, I've been a good boy. I've drunk a lot of zero beer since I've been here though. Probably around about 36 cans. I think I bought three cases of 12. Yeah, so uh, anyway guys, what we'll do, we'll have a wander around if we come across nice places and that, I'll fire you back up. So, uh, see you on the other side. So, just walking down these uh, sunny Spanish streets. Look at this, lovely. These buildings are amazing. 
Yes, yeah, just in case you didn't hear me when I said they're in um, a little place called Cottrell, um by Almoradi, 10 minutes from the villa. Uh, looking for somewhere to stop to cool down to have a um, drink together. Thank you, Gem. Yeah. Enjoying yourself? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this looks like an old ruin. Look, this one was obviously in a fire or something. Check this out, look. Because it's a total wreck now. Whoa. I think that must have been in the fire or something. Crazy. <laughs> Jamie, you reckon that was in the fire or something? Cause it looks like the roof's been ripped to shreds. Yeah, I reckon we'll find somewhere up here, guys, who are. Uh, let you know and get somewhere. Lovely place to come and visit, it's very quiet. Hardly any tourists, which is what you've got to remember. There's a cat down there, Jen. Yeah. And in the tree. So you can hit that cat down there. You can see it down there, peeps. Okay, so on the way in, um, Gemma spotted a little boozer in the middle of a park. We did go there the other day. And um, we remembered it as soon as we saw it. So I'm gonna head there. And I'm gonna get a Cerveza Sin Alcohol. Gemma will be probably getting a Malibu. Well, no alcohol yet? No alcohol. Oh, no alcohol for Gemma either. Sin Alcohol for Gemma. We think we can just see over here, look. There's the park. So I'm a bit wary about filming in Spain with children around. And that's just me, I know. Because people get a bit fucking whingy about it. So there's no kids in here, I'll show you. Don't want to piss anyone off. It's the world we live in, guys, unfortunately. It's the world we live in. Nice roundabout there. We're like a bonsai tree. Right, we're going to walk this way. Um, we'll tell you later, why? <laughs> Get over here. So we're just walking down towards the park now. There's the booze over there. So it's open. So this pub is like in the middle of a park. Oh, there's someone on the barrels, Gem. No, it's not. So yeah, in the middle of this park, there's like a, a pub. Look. It's like something you get in New York, really, isn't it? Like, in Central Park there. So when we walked through there, we saw all the, uh, we stopped for a beer, didn't we? Yeah. So this is the park, you see the railings on over. We're going in there now, so hold on. Let's have a little look. Uh, yeah, when we get there guys, I'll turn you back on, all right? And um, show you around the boozer. Actually, I'll leave it on just for a minute. Just seems like a bit of a walk up to the gate. <laughs> Don't you? I know, but I thought it was closer. Otherwise I wouldn't have turned the old camera on. So yeah, we're going into park now, look. Basketball courts. La show, sit and the picnic. Benches, nah. Lovely place. It's lovely, isn't it, Jem? This part. Yeah, so here's the bar. Bar, bar Kiosco El Parque. Which probably means Kiosco El Park. Eesh. Right then. Right guys, see you in a bit. Right Jen. Yeah. Here we are down the park pub. Jen's got an orange juice. Sin alcohol. It's not Amstel, I think it was, um, what was it Jen? Mahal or something. Mahal or something like that. Got all the ham and stuff. Going down. Nice little place. Just in this park. Come and, uh, come and cool down in the shade. A couple of bevies. Yeah, lovely area. <clears throat> Very quiet. It's a weekday. Just in a load of uh, 
Last on an hour cinema to go to park for the day. So yeah, decent. We'll uh, be back on when uh, something else arises to show you. See you in a bit. Here we are at the castle, guys. Check out the sunset. Boom, ski. We'll have a quick walk down here. Come on, now let's go. This is the castle. <laughs> Man made, obviously. Check out the views, the sunset. <clears throat> yeah, decent place. So you can get married here in all sorts. Conferences, I think. Stuff like that. We're eating down in the restaurant. Go down there in a minute. Right guys, we'll see you in there then. So we're here now, going to eat, going to get myself a big ribeye steak. It's got lovely grounds and gardens. <coughs> so if you want to visit here, it's in a place called San Miguel. It took us 22 minutes to get here. Yeah, lovely, look at it. Waterfall, our fountain even. <laughs> get everything wrong. I think we go down there. Oh, see you down there, guys. Here we are at the restaurant. Just finished up. A few beers now. Sin alcohol. <coughs> There's Mel. That's Mel, the he owns the Playboy Mansion. And there's the castle. <laughs> it looks like a sandcastle. I know. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't it? Raise a little thing, Carla. Take this with you, Matt, and have a film. <laughs> That'll be there. Is it recording? It's recording, yeah. <laughs> right, see you in a bit, guys. Ash is done at the castle, guys. Just gonna head back to the villa now, get an early night, fly back to the UK tomorrow at 10 a.m. in the morning. Hope you've enjoyed the vlogs. The vlog in Spain. We've had a great time, three days. Um, it's been a good break. Loads of sunshine. There he is, Captain Jack. It's a cool pirate. So yeah, that's just done. So we'll see you uh, back in the UK, guys. See you watching. Love you back. Well, that's it for another trip in sunny Spain. On our way back to the airport now. Um, 7 a.m. here. We've got a flight at 10 o'clock just after. So if you enjoyed the um, vlog, please share, like, and subscribe to our channel if you can. Um, that'd be great. And yeah, thank you. Till next time. Next holiday, um, we're off to the States, San Fran, LA, and Las Vegas. So we'll see you then, guys. Peace.